Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here with part three of the Storm Legion features series. Now, uh, I only I was only able to catch like the last half an hour, 45 minutes of the live stream they did today. I kind of uh, overslept a little bit, but from what I did catch, I caught some pretty uh, interesting information. Uh, first off, the Tempest is going to be pretty much a lightning-based range DPS. Um, and mixed with Riftblade, because Riftblade is also like a range-type warrior class, um, that'll probably give you your best combo. Um, you're going to have some CC abilities. Uh, there is a stealth ability that I've seen in the 20-25 point range of the Soul Tree that makes uh, your warrior stealth when not moving. I did catch that tooltip very quickly when he moused over it, so um, there is a stealth. Warlord will be a hybrid tanking DPS soul, and uh, it has good DPS just under what the top DPS spec would be. Uh, and you can also block without a shield. Uh, the next thing I caught was Beastmaster will be a buffing class, and that certain attacks will reapply the buffs. Uh, they are increasing AoE threat on almost all tank abilities for all classes. Uh, example, Plaguebringer and Reaver. Uh, now hits 10 enemies instead of 5. Uh, they balance all the tank souls on mitigation and threats, so uh, the differences between the tanking souls will be very minimal. Uh, it's not like, you know, say you need to take a Void Knight and Reaver or whatever to tank a lot of magic stuff, or you need a Paladin for physical. Um, they will be interchangeable. The Differences will be so minimal that it won't matter what you take. Uh, you play the class you the class you like for tanking, and it'll provide you with the mitigation for you know what you need. So um, they're pretty much leveling the played playing field on uh, all the tank specs. So that's pretty sweet. And um, that's all I caught of the live stream. I'm sure there's a hell of a lot more. Um, they did hint at two-handed DPS or uh, two-handed tanking. Uh, they did hint at the possibility of uh, more uh, soul specs or whatever, or more roles. Um, they did mention uh, that there will also be an increase in mount speeds uh, for the new massive you know, expansion to get places quicker because it will be so big now. Um, they're going to be increasing the mount speed. And uh, going back to the warrior, with uh, the warlord being now a actual support spec, um, with Warrior, you're going to be able to queue as DPS, tank, and support. So, um, if you're not a tank, being able to queue as DPS and support will greatly reduce uh, your queue times in uh, dungeons and stuff. So, that is all I caught uh, from the little bit that I watched. So, hopefully some people that didn't catch the live stream find this uh, informative and uh, kind of helps them out and they can start speculating on other things. So, alrighty, see you later.